y'all. Welcome back to Dish Nation. What up? Now, tonight at 10 on OWN is a part two of the Queen Sugar season premiere. And our mm -hmm. man Andrew Freud met up with the cast, and they were featured at the 35th annual Paley Fest in L.A. Now, Andrew got the lowdown on the new sexy season and what it was like to meet the show's executive producer, Oprah Winfrey. Check it out. I'll burn the entire Landry family to the f***ing damn ground. You need to wake up. The game's rigged. You can't win this way. I don't plan to win the game. I plan to eliminate it. I can't look at you right now without yeah. thinking of Girls Trip, so let's oh, just get God. that out of the way. Yeah. I just want to know how many grapefruits come your way. I get grapefruit jokes all the time. I'm glad grapefruits don't come my way, but... You know, it's fun. It's all good. It's all good. What did what did that whole girls trip experience, that whole whirlwind, do for you? I love being a part of something that's light. You know, because Queen Sugar is so drama and heavy, and we're dealing with social issues. But girls trip still had resonance. You know, emotional resonance. But it was fun. It was lighthearted. I got to be 21, 22. You know, like it was it was it was a different experience for me. So I, I think that added a nice balance to the the weight of Queen Sugar last year, especially because season two was like just so heavy. Give me the teas. Give me a little sugar. Give me a little sugar, sugar three teas. It's going to be sugary. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be bad for you sometimes. You're going to cry. You're going to be angry. But in the end, it's going to make you feel good. So I just read our last script that came in, and there was a few sex scenes. It's racy sex scenes. What? I was pretty shocked myself. I was like, really? That's how we're doing it in season three of Queen Sugar. Okay. What's your favorite your favorite Oprah story? <laughs> Oprah story. Personal Oprah story. I think going to her house, you know, just being able to, like, chill. Hold on. Wait, wait. What is Oprah's house like? I mean, it's unreal. It's like heaven on earth. Like, if you could imagine it, there's a lot of trees. It's called the promised land. Yeah. <laughs> Simple. Like, enough said, right? It's called the promised land. I think the one that is really always right there for me is when we were doing our first uh, photo shoot as a cast with her and I was just so blown away that I was seeing my face next to Oprah and Ava's faces and I just became completely overwhelmed and I just started sobbing quietly trying to be quiet and Oprah came up to me literally came up to me and behind me and she just she just hugged me and she said this is just God showing you you just step into it she gave me a hug once and yes. it was like the best hug. Actually, I know. she said that I needed to be hugged by a woman with big breasts. We love her for that. That's so we I, love you for that. This, we do. This, it's hugged by greatness. It's Queen Sugar. Do you have a sweet tooth? Yes, I love candy. <laughs> what kind of candy? What kind, what kind of candy? Now and laters. All right. Yeah, let's, I go back to the some, old school. Now some free now, let's get you some free now and later. Yeah, I like the watermelon and pineapple's really good. And um, yes, all the now and laters. Oh, no, 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 all of them. I have a, a tremendous sweet tooth. I don't like hard candy. I like chocolate in all, in all instances. I like cho chocolate, Snickers, Oreos, that kind of thing. Idris Elba, I like that kind of stuff. <laughs> <show. laughs> Oh, <laughs>